What's going on YouTube? This is Ultimate Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap. And as always, I'm going to be showing you guys five of the best city tweaks that are compatible with the latest version of iOS that is capable of running a jailbreak. At this time, it's iOS 8.1.2. And I just wanted to quickly mention, because it's kind of like a public service announcement before I start this video, that iOS 8.1.3 is out, and it is not able to be jailbroken by any jailbreak utility as of the time that I'm making this video. And of course, I'll keep you guys updated on the status. So when one is released, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But as of right now, it's not possible. So if you want to keep your jailbreak, do not update to iOS 8.1.3. And if you want more information about that, be sure to check out the link down below in the description uh, to the video where I discuss that it is patched, the jailbreak is patched in 8.1.3. And also, if you want to downgrade back to 8.1.2 from 8.1.3, you can do that, but it won't last for long. And we'll have that tutorial in the, in the description down below as well. And with that being said, let's get right into these tweaks. So the first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called App Button. It's available in Cydia for $1.49. And this tweak will allow you to launch applications on your device with actually a very new, interesting uh, design and function. So basically, you have this little circle on the side of your screen right here. And what you do is you tap on it and you drag. And as you can see, you have, you have applications. And basically what you do is you release on a particular application. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the uh, Twitter application. So I'll, I'll drag my finger on top of the Twitter app, then I'll release, and it's gonna open up whatever application you release on. And of course, you can configure which applications will show up in here. That's all configurable through settings, but it's very, very nice. I do like it. It's just a completely new take on opening applications, launching different apps. And what you wanna to do to configure it after you install it is just go into settings on your device, and find um, the preferences panel here. It is app button, we'll go in there. And how you configure the apps is you go into the favorite app section down here. And here are all my personal favorites. And basically down here you could scroll down and this is a list of all the applications on your device. And basically you just wanna check off the applications that you wanna use. Let's just add settings for a demonstration and it will go away and you'll notice that it will be added to the top of the list. And you could remove your favorites by tapping like this and selecting delete, let's just go ahead and delete Twitter, for example, just to show you. And as you can see, now that's deleted. And if you want to rearrange them, you drag, you uh, tap and hold on these little drag handles like this, and you can move them up and down like this, as you can see. Up and down, around, you can configure the order that they will show up. And that's pretty much how you configure the favorite apps. And down here we do have some other settings. So we have look and feel and behavior. So if you go into look and feel, as you can see, we have various options to configure that the way that the tweak looks aesthetically. So you could toggle some of these options on and off to again, get it looking exactly the way you want it to. And behavior are just some configuration options here. And you could just go through here and configure some, I don't know, advanced or not really advanced, just extra um, things that you could do with this tweak. Then you could go into about, so these are the developer's information and there's some um, credits down here. Um, and there's also a reset button. So if you wanna reset the tweak to factory defaults, you can select that, then it'll go back to factory defaults. So if you change things up and you just want it to be exactly as it was when you installed it, you could use the reset button. And that's pretty much all for this tweak. I just wanna show you that those changes that I did make earlier did take an effect. As you can see, Twitter is no longer there because I removed it. And as you can see, settings is now here. And again, you just release on a particular app and it'll open it. Let's just go ahead and open up, uh, let's say iFile. We'll drag on top of iFile release. And as you can see, it's gonna open up the application. And just before I uh, wrap this up, I just wanna open up an app and show you that it works from inside applications as well. As you can see, pretty much the exact same type of thing. And again, you just release on an app. Let's open up Activator. And it's gonna go ahead and open it for you. And quickly, just one last thing I want to mention, if you lock your device and you do have a passcode set, the um, little app dial will go away, as you can see, so you don't have to worry about it. For a security risk, as you can see, it's completely gone on the lock screen, and of course, as soon as I unlock my device, it'll be there. And once again, it's called App Button, it's available in Cydia for $1.49. And the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Anchor. This one's available for $1.99 in Cydia. And what this tweak allows you to do is put icons on your home screen anywhere on your home screen. So normally in iOS, it will not allow you to put an icon anywhere that isn't 
surrounded by other icons if that makes any sense so normally i wouldn't be able to have this youtube icon down here it would be it would have to be up here with the other applications and this tweak will allow you to break that restriction and it'll allow you to just put applications anywhere on your home screen as you can see i can move it to any space on the home screen it doesn't matter what icons are around it for whatever reason apple doesn't uh, want you having applications spread out with space in between them but as you can see this tweak will allow you to do that you could have some really cool arrangements with this, so it really makes sense. Just a good thing to have on your device. I mean, I'm not sure why Apple doesn't let you do this, but as you can see, this tweak will allow you to. And in settings, there are some things you can configure for it inside the preferences panel, as you can see. It has a very nice animation up at the top, as you can see when I go into the settings. That's just attention to detail, but it's pretty nice. Of course, you have the ability to enable or disable the tweak at the top. And down here we have some other options. So we have page one and page two. And this uh, number of these will depend on how many pages you have. On this device, as you can see, I do have two pages. And let's say I were to go to my first page here. What this allows you to do here is it will allow you to reset the um, icons on a particular page. So as you can see right here, we have the ability to reset. And using these reset options will not reset it back to the way that it was before you install the tweak. So it's not like it's going to reset your icon arrangement back to factory iOS. What it will do is it will remove all the changes that this tweak made. And basically there's two options. So there's soft reset and hard reset. If you use soft reset, what that's going to do is it's just going to reset it without respringing your device. So if you click it, as you can see, it'll tell you it'll reset your arrangement. You could click reset and you will not have to respring. However, if you click hard reset, as you can see, it's going to respring our device. And the reason that there's two options is because uh, the first option, soft reset, I'm assuming in some circumstances that would not work um, and you need to respring. And with the hard reset, you have the ability to reset and respring just so you could get that working in case soft reset isn't working. So it's just like a backup option. Same thing for all the pages on your device. You'll have the same menu as you can see. And we also do have reset all. So if you just want to reset all your pages back to factory settings, as you can see, this will also require a respring, and if you want to do that, you can just select reset, and if icons go missing, if there's some sort of glitch with it, as you can see, you don't have to worry because you always have the ability to reset inside the settings app, just get everything back to the way it was. So you always have this option if icons are missing, and if for whatever reason, if the settings app goes, mi goes missing and you can't find it to disable it, what you can always do is just pull down Spotlight Search and type in settings, and then you'll be able to launch it, just to give you that quick tip in case the settings app disappears. And that's pretty much all for this tweak. Once again, it's called Anchor. It's available on Cydia for $1.99. And it will allow you to rearrange icons on your home screen freely. You don't have to worry about anything around it. As you can see, everything will just happen exactly the way that you want it. You don't Apps don't have to be clustered together. You could spread them out however you like. Once again, it's called Anchor. And the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Tap to Lock and Respring. It's available on Cydia for free. And the two in this tweak's name is the number two, just to let you know. And of course, all the spelling will be in the description down below, as always, for all these tweaks. And what this tweak allows you to do is quickly lock your device and quickly respring your device. Now, of course, there's numerous ways you could do this with your jailbroken device. However, I really do like this method. It's just one of those tweaks that is so simple and just makes a lot of sense. Basically, if you want to lock your device using this tweak, uh, tweak um, you just tap in any excess area of the screen twice. So... Basically, any area on the home screen that is not an icon, any excess area, you just double tap like this, and it locks your device. And of course, this doesn't really affect your interacting with icons. As you can see, it's exactly the same. It just adds that functionality. And if you want to respring your device, what you do is you just tap and hold on any excess area, so any area, and then you release your finger, and your device will respring. And again, I really like that because those are two functions that me and I'm sure a lot of other people do frequently and it's just good to have those really easily accessible right from the home screen and of course you could get it in between the icons as I said earlier that's where you tap that's what I was doing or you could just do it in any blank area over here that's probably be easier as you can see because obviously it's just more space but you know if you get it in between the icons it's pretty easy to do you can lock your device and respring easily and let's head over to the settings it's just a few things I want to show you in here so Let's scroll down and you will see tap to lock and respring. Let's just go in there. And in here, of course, you have the ability to enable or disable the tweak. 
then we have these two options. So we have, these are the options that I showed you earlier. We have double tap, SB to lock, and SB stands for springboard, and springboard means home screen. And again, double tap, SB to lock. Then we have hold, SB to respring, and I showed you both of those. And you can enable or disable these options independently, as you can see using these toggles. And you do have to respring in order to activate any of the changes that you make inside here. And once again, the tweak is called tap to lock and respring. It's available in Cydia for free. And the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Custom Messages. It's available in Cydia for $1.99. And this tweak will allow you to completely customize the Messages app. As you can see right here, my iMessage conversation screen is absolutely crazy. As you can see, there's different colors throughout the entire thing. It's you know completely customized to my liking. You can see if I send a message, the send bar up at the top, something else you'll see is a completely different color. The entry box there is different. And as you can see, the send button. So you could just completely customize the Messages app using this tweak. And after you have installed it, how you configure it is you go into settings on your device and scroll down until you do see uh, message or custom messages and just go in there. Make sure the tweak is enabled. And here are the settings. So if you want to configure the bubbles, you could just select bubbles right here. And of course, you have iMessage, SMS, and receiver. So you could configure things independently for those three options. And because I was using iMessage in the demonstration that I showed you, I just want an iMessage and you have all these options to configure. So as you can see, you have some color options. You could select these options and you have the entire color board at your disposal. And as you can see, there's various options to configure down here. And also, if you want to configure the background, which is also what I showed you. So if I just switch back over here and as you can see, the background there as well as the send box the entry text entry box uh, you could go into more settings for that and as you can see you have all of this here so background color is red there you go you have the same color board for all these options as well so basically you could just completely customize the messages app get everything looking exactly the way you want and once you're done I would recommend that you do respring your device and you can try killing the messages app so just double pressing the home button and swiping up but I would recommend respringing just to ensure that all just all the changes apply and it's just really nice you know being able to customize things like this get the app looking exactly the way you want it and once again there's tons of options to configure it's called custom messages it's available in Cydia for one dollar and ninety nine cents and last but not least we have simple NC this one's available in Cydia for free and this tweak will simplify the notification center as the name suggests. As you can see, this notification center looks a lot simpler than it normally does in iOS. So just to show you what it normally looks like, as you can see here, what this tweak does is it removes the today tab right here. This is one I'm actually on over here. And all that it uh, gives you is the notifications tab. So basically, if you don't use this today tab, as you can see, it just gives you some information like the date, weather. You could have widgets here if you want to. And most people, myself included, usually do not use this section. I usually use the notification section. So as you can see here, that's exactly what this tweak does. It just uh, makes the notification center only the notification section. As you can see, there's no today. So basically now you could just swipe down for notification center and you won't ever have to worry about having to deal with the today tab. It'll just be straight at the notifications tab exactly where you want it. And once again, this tweak is called Simple NC. It's available on Cydia for free. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to let me know down below in the comment section which one of these tweaks is your favorite one, and I'll see you guys later.